Welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're going to set up an M1 Mac with Reaper and all the extensions. I recently got the new M1 Mac Mini, and so far it's been great. It's a really powerful computer that is dead silent and very efficient to run, which is fantastic. For the price, you get a lot of great stuff. But because this is all brand new technology, and a lot of the companies are just finally catching up with uh, all this new Apple Silicon stuff, let's jump into actually installing Reaper and the extensions um, so you can get going with one of these new computers. So we're gonna start from scratch. We're going to download Reaper from reaper.fm slash download.php. There are multiple different download buttons here. The one we're actually using today is the Mac ARM64 beta. So for now, I'm just going to download this to my downloads folder and then go on to the next download. The next download is SWS extension. We're going to download this again for ARM64, which is the Apple Silicon uh, download. And by the way, you can run this with the Intel version and the built-in Rosetta 2 uh, kind of translation app is going to convert everything so that these apps can run more effectively on the Apple Silicon chips instead of the Intel uh, chips. That may be better for working with third-party plugins, but if you wanna run everything completely native, um, these are the steps to take. And we're going to repack.com for the package manager. This allows you to download all kinds of extensions created by Reaper users, scripts, effects, uh, all kinds of tools that really help with using Reaper. And so I'm just going to download again the ARM64 build. And finally, we're going to download the ARM64 or Apple Silicon version of VLC Media Player from videoland.org. Just go to the drop down menu, which is there's a little triangle here, and make sure that you're on the Apple Silicon mode. It may not be the default selected when you open this website. Uh, now, the thing to watch out for on this page is just let it sit for like three seconds and then it'll start to download. If you click any of the other buttons on here, they're probably ads. And um, without ad block on, uh, I was seeing all kinds of things that look like download buttons, but you gotta watch out for, for that. Downloading VLC and installing that with Reaper gives you better performance with video editing and uh, just more, more formats for importing and things like that. So if you ever work with video in Reaper, you wanna use VLC3 and um, you have to match the format. So if you're using the ARM64 version of Reaper, you need to use this ARM64 version of all the extensions that you're using, including VLC. And for right now, we're not going to download FFmpeg because it's less useful for the Mac users. Um, it's very useful for Windows users, especially for video uh, encoding, but Reaper has all that stuff built in on the Mac version, so we don't need it. So now I'm gonna open up my downloads folder so now we're gonna go through these installers one by one, starting with the Reaper installer. Just double click on that, hit agree. After a few seconds, the disk image opens up and we can drag this into the applications folder. And so it's copying right now. In a few seconds, it will be finished there and we can launch it. All right, so I'm gonna open up Reaper for the first time. It's gonna ask you to verify, just hit open. It will ask you to set up a audio device, and we'll hit yes. And just choose the audio interface that you want to use. So in my case, it's the audio fuse. Set a sample rate and the block size, and hit OK. You'll have to import your license key, uh, but that can be done at any time. So now with Reaper open, we can go to the Options menu and go to Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer slash Finder. The Reaper resource folder has been created on the first launch of Reaper, and I recommend making a shortcut of this folder in your favorites list. I know there's a shortcut to do this, but I totally forget what it is all the time. So what I do is go to the view menu and make sure that the path bar is enabled. That's this bar at the bottom. And so I just drag this Reaper uh, folder icon over to the left column and drop that in there to save that into the favorites list. This is something that any Reaper user is going to be accessing from time to time, installing extensions, um, managing their files manually, you know, deleting old effects chains or things like that. Or if you import from another computer, you're gonna have to have access to this folder, which is normally kind of hidden. With this folder open, 
with it bookmarked, we're now going back to Reaper and we're going to quit uh, just so we can continue with the installation of the other apps. So just keep this one handy. We're gonna come back to that one. We're going over to the downloads folder. We're going to open up the SWS installer. All right, so now we're going to open up the user plugins folder inside of the Reaper resources folder. We're going to drag this Reaper SWS arm64.dlib into the user plugins folder. And now we're going to launch Reaper again. Okay, so Reaper ARM64 can't be opened because Apple cannot check for Melissa's software. So if we hit OK here, and then go to System Preferences and Security and General, as long as we do this right away, we'll see this warning here. This is what we need to do to unlock that extension for Reaper. So we hit Allow Anyway, and that's good to go. So right now, Reaper is not showing the extensions menu, but next time we launch Reaper after a quit, we will see that. And this time we'll actually set up Reaper to stay in the dock. Okay, and so it's saying can't be open because Apple cannot check for malicious software. This time we've already approved it in the preferences. We just need to hit open this one last time, and now it will just open normally from then on. So now we have the extensions menu and the SWS extensions are installed. I'm gonna go over to the dock. I'm gonna right click, options, keep in dock. And now that's always gonna stay there. Now we can quit and move on to the next extension. So the next one is repack. And this is a simple install. Just drag this from your downloads folder into the user plugins folder. Again, we are launching Reaper. We get this warning, same as before for the repack, hit OK. Now we're going to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, Reaper Repack Arm64.dlib was blocked because it cannot be it's not from identified developer. We hit Allow Anyway, close that. And then again, if we quit and relaunch Reaper, we can hit Open, and now it's installed for good. We can hit OK. And so Repack is now the bottom of the extensions menu. We're going to take a break from installing the extensions because I want to show you this. This is important. If you want to record any audio in Reaper, you need to be able to use the microphone for that or any of the audio inputs. And that's going to be blocked by default uh, by the operating system and it has been for the past uh, few versions. Just for security re reasons, you have to approve any app to use uh, the microphone. Just like those warnings that we saw earlier with the downloading the extensions, um, you will see under the microphone section, it will be Reaper in here blocked out. You just hit the lock, enter your password, and then make sure that Reaper is checked for the uh, microphone. So that should pop up on the first launch. It didn't in this screen recording because I had uh, already approved that uh, yesterday, and then I'm kind of recreating this for you guys today. Just so you're aware, Reaper needs to have permissions to uh, use the microphone. So now the last thing to do is install VLC. Super simple, but we'll just I'll show you how to verify that it is working. This is a simple installer, just drag and drop within this window to the applications folder. After a few seconds, it will finish copying. Open up Reaper again. There's no security things we need to do this time. Uh, we can open up the preferences under media video. We can set our decoder priority. I'm gonna recommend taking off uh, FFmpeg and QuickTime there. Hit show available decoder information, and we should see VLC loaded here. So if you did the right version of VLC, you should see that here. And if VLC isn't installed, it's going to fall back on the AV Foundation decoder, which is built into macOS. So there you go, installing Reaper and all the extensions on the new Macs. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.